guys, my name's Amber, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, which you most likely are, I have 61 subscribers, I'm not delusional. Um, I am a hairstylist with over 10 years experience and I specialise in vivid clothing. I'm going to enter some pictures here. So you don't think I'm a liar. And today I'm going to be colouring this lovely lady's hair. This is Jennifer with a silent Q for literally no reason at all. Um, this is actually a wig. I got this off of Amazon, it was very very cheap and I have cling filmed all over her entire face just so I don't give her some kind of weird colour beard. So I'm going to be colouring her hair, I'm going to do some kind of pastelised muted rainbow root number possibly with black tips. Um, I'm going to see how I feel about the black tips thing just because I will legitimately might change my mind and think it's a horrible idea. We'll see what happens. You'll probably go by the thumbnail. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, Amber, that wig looks like shit. Yes. Y yes it does. Um, I got it from Amazon. I'll link it down below. But honestly at this point I would not be shocked if I found out that it was at least 50% pubic hair. At least. Anyway, let's get started. Also, if you feel like you want to subscribe, please do. I'm not above begging internet strangers to like me. same clothes that I wore yesterday to try and trick you. Top tip for tricking people, do not tell them. So yeah, I'm probably still going to do the black tips around her hair. I kind of figure, you know, like if it doesn't work out, I can maybe just like throw it into the sky and hopefully a bird will take it away and make it into a mess. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to use the watercolour method, which is basically putting colour into a bowl of water and I'm just going to dip her ends into it and see how that turns out. I'm probably going to do it multiple times just to try and build up a colour and I'm just going to do it while her hair is still kind of wavy like that to give it a kind of uneven finish. So yeah, I'm going to do that just now and then we'll see how that turns out. Okay guys, this is the finished result. 
Um, before I get started talking an endless amount of crap, which is not unusual, don't forget to please like, share, subscribe, comment, click that notification bell. If you're maybe a millionaire, feel free to email me and tell me that you're secretly in love with me. All of that good stuff. But yeah, yeah, no, I'm actually pretty happy with the result, especially considering obviously when I first prepped the wig, it really kind of looked and felt like regurgitated cat hair. So considering it went from that to this is a bit of a shock. But yeah, um, let me know if this was helpful to you. Do you think you're going to be trying this technique at home? Do you think you're maybe going to be buying your own wig and doing something similar? Do you maybe want to come to my house and try and murder me in cold blood? Let me know. It's always good to hear from you in those comments. I'm not giving you my address. But yeah, if you have any questions about how I did this, that you feel I left out, if you think I did a good job, a bad job, do you think that I am a horrible person? let me know. But thank you for watching. It's always greatly appreciated. Bye guys.